Now that Spring has been around for quite a while, one would assume they have done everything they need to do and they are fully ready to go. So in this video, I wanna create a tutorial on how to create a store using Spring. I have done a video on this before, but now it's changed and like I said, I think it's finalized with Spring. So this tutorial should be the most up-to-date tutorial you could see. Now you can create a custom store, custom URL, add custom products, do all of that kind of stuff. Now I have actually spoken to support and they've let me in on a few really cool things. I'm gonna tell you those at the end of the video. Please don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and let's get right into it. First things first, this is the dashboard for spring. You just have to log in or create an account if you don't already have one. And then you just have to go to stores here on the left hand side. So click stores and you can see I have my test store here. So we're gonna start with actually the store editor and then I'm gonna show you how to add a product, how to add a domain and how to kind of mess around with it a bit. So let's go into store editor and then this should pop up. And it's pretty simple, right? You've got the navigation bar here. This is where you can add an image up here where it says test store. You can have your display links here. Now you need to add your social links here. You can have the background color and the menu item color. Menu items are these things. And the more products you add in different categories, then they'll show up there. And the background is just the long bar over here. You then have the hero banner. The hero banner is the big thing that will go there if you want it. You've also got the advanced hero banner. It's quite cool actually. You've then got products. Now products, we actually need to add some products. We're gonna do that very quickly. And then finally you have your footer, which is the stuff here at the bottom. Now, first things first, we wanna create some products to actually go into our store. So that's simple as going to create it will take you to the new Spring Creator, and I actually kind of like it. I think it's very easy to use. So let's just say we want to add a T-shirt, whatever. So we've got this one, which is the really expensive one, but we want to go for the cheap one. So $10.57, right? Let's add an image. We're going to just use a random image from this pack that I downloaded. Obviously, I would never, I would never use this without editing it a bit. But let's just say we're using this. Very simple, we'll start at $21.99, we'll have $11 profit, so it's good profit. The t-shirt's not so expensive, so let's say we sell it at $16.99, and we have $6.42 profit. Now, with the AS color one at $16.99, you'll get probably five cents profit, but either way, all we have to do is click continue, and now we can add it to other products. So for example, we can add it to a hoodie. Let's select a hoodie, right, done. Now let's add it to, um, let's see, we can add it to a tote bag. So let's select tote bag. Let's edit the tote bag because obviously the color you can't see. We can move it around and then we can change the color of the tote bag. And you can see how easy it is to edit individual products and how fast it is actually. I was pleasantly surprised at how fast it was. So let's let's do it with a phone case. Right, so I'm happy with that actually. And uh, move it up a tiny bit. We can even add a couple color phone cases. Okay, so with the mug, this is really cool actually, facing away from you um, in your right hand, face towards you. So it tells you exactly where it's going to be facing in the mug. We can move it around, we can add another color. So let's add that color, I like that color. Click done, continue, done. And now we've got all these products that we're going to be adding, right? And now we just have to click continue. We have to title it. Let's do that. And then perfect. I mean, it's a bit late now for university gifts, but either way, perfect for and then click publish listing and all five of these will be published. That's really cool and actually really fast. So they've definitely improved since I last used their site. And now what will happen is your website will be populated with these products because I've added it specifically to that store. So now we can see this is our overall website. I know it's very blank because I haven't added a logo. I haven't added a thing. We're gonna do that now, but these are all the products. Okay, and you can see we've got the automatic drop downs here. So we've got accessories over here, fanny packs, bags, phone cases, homeware, mugs, apparel. So the only annoying thing about this is it's automatic. You can't create your own categories. You can't create your own drop downs. Drop downs are created automatically depending on what um, category these, these uh, items fall into. So mugs will fall into homeware and uh, this t-shirt will fall into apparel and this will fall into accessories. So now let's go back and let's go to stores and click store editor. And we can see all our products are here. 
Now all we need to do is add an image of some sort. So if you want to add some sort of custom logo, we can create it on Canva, on Photoshop, on Affinity Designer, on anything really, but let's just add anything. And that's what we want to add. So now once that's uploaded, you'll see this will change to, I would say my logo of some sort, but basically it's just, yeah. Right, you can see that's just, it says S Morris. Right, now that's that's done, we can actually change the background. We can make the background black, we can make it red, we can make it whatever color we really want. And then whatever color we make it, we can also change the menu items. You can see red, black, obviously not white because you don't want me to see anything. So let's just keep them black, right? And that will be the navigation bar. And then remember, you have to click save. Now, once you've saved it, you can go to sections again. And now we can go to hero banner. So we can select another image for the hero banner. And this can be almost anything, literally anything. Let's say it's this. This is just the first image that I saw. This is just one of Apple's promo images of their new Macs. I don't know why, but it's on my desktop, so I'm clicking it. Either way, you can also do advanced, right? And that's when now you can see, we can see the whole thing. We can add a subtitle. So let's say order now. You can see it shows up over there. We can add a title, uh, limited edition t-shirts. We can add a body of text um, saying custom made t-shirts for you and then we've got button text shop now button link it can go to a specific thing or it can go to a web address right and then you've got the background can be whatever color you want text can be whatever color you want the button background color can be whatever color you want so let's make that red that's an awful awful red let's actually make that um yeah blue or actually we can make that orange to match the computer i still don't know why i've chosen that computer but i have and then the text color we can also we can change that to whatever we want but i kind of like the white the order now is a bit hard to see but that's fine with me right now we want to save but it looks like teespring are having a bit of a hiccup fail to update theme request failed status code 500 there is nothing I can do with that. I have no idea what that means. Um, I'd have to contact support. So let's for now just put it back. But that is how you would put in all of this information in advance and you could go and you could do it easily. Let's see if this saves or is it also not going to work? No, nope, that saves. Right, so now we have this. We have our banner, we have our navigation bar, we have some products, right? Now, unfortunately, you can't really do much else. I mean, we can edit the footer right, and have social links, and that's social links that will display on the footer. You have to add your social links over here, and then you can actually add all your, like, Facebook and all these different things. But that is pretty much it for the website. The next thing we'd have to do is actually buy a domain. So let's go back into stores, and now what you can do is you can add a custom domain and do it all directly through Spring or Teespring, whatever you want to call them. So let's say add a custom domain and let's say we want to call it teststoreshimmy.com. You can either already own your domain, by the way, or you can just click search and a whole bunch would pop up over here. So teststoreshimmy.com. Now that is quite expensive, $19.99 per year. If we went to another platform, and I'm not saying you should go to GoDaddy because a lot of people don't like GoDaddy either. But if we did the exact same name in GoDaddy, how much would it cost? I'm very curious about this. 99p. So if you are going to buy a website, maybe don't buy it on Spring because, well, this one test.co.uk is 1p. So maybe don't buy it on Spring because it's expensive. 19.99 is ridiculous. But either way, if we did continue to check out, we put all our information in. This is going to be blurred out, but we put all our information in automatically renewed on, and then down here, continue to check out. I'm obviously not going to buy this domain because I don't need it, but that is exactly how you would buy a domain within Teespring. Now again, I just wanna reiterate, Teespring are charging you a small fortune for a domain, so maybe just go straight to GoDaddy or any other, you know, one, two, three, Reg. There are so many different platforms, websites where you can buy domains, so maybe buy it from another website, it'll be much cheaper. And that's it, really. That's it for creating a website. But hang on, don't go anywhere because I want to just quickly tell you a few important things, right? Firstly, I want to tell you what is this missing? What, what is this 
this spring store lacking? As well as that, can you have multiple spring stores or are you only allowed one? Let's, let's talk about it. And also, how are you planning on sending traffic to your spring store? Well, what's missing? You have an about me page, which would have looked good. A contact me page, which is always nice. You have a delivery and returns page, which would have looked really good and potentially even had a blog, which would have looked really good. But at the moment, all we really have is if we view the store, a huge, a huge feature, a huge like image, um, and then some categories up here of what the t-shirt, what the uh, products are, and then all of our featured products. It doesn't look very good. Uh, it does, and this whole showing the back of it, I don't like that at all. But it doesn't look very good, and I would have loved to have seen it, you know, an about me, a contact me, even a blog or something like that. And as well as that, it would have been amazing to be able to categorize these into our own thing rather than, you know, have all the featured products just here. Why are all of these featured products? I don't want them to be featured products. So that's, in my mind, a bit annoying. It's very, what, the word is limiting. It's very limiting to what you can do. Now, in terms of having multiple stores, I know a lot of people ask me in the comments, can I have another Teespring store? Can I have multiple stores? At the moment, you can't. And I actually spoke to support to find out the exact answer. And they said, at the moment, if you want, uh, um, multiple stores, you need to create multiple Teespring accounts or Spring accounts. Now, when I say at the moment, in support, she said, this is going to be a very long-term thing. They don't want people to have multiple stores. And I don't understand why she said, instead of having multiple stores, what we're going to do is we're going to add categories to your stores. So that is a good thing, you know, that you're going to be able to have categories here. Let's say you have dogs and cats and and Father's Day and Mother's Day and Pride Month, and you wanna have all the different categories of everything you have over here. So dogs and cats and all of that kind of stuff. That's what they are in the in the process of adding now, which is, it's better than nothing, because at the moment everything is just jumbled up into one. But the idea of only having one store might still annoy people if people wanna go for niche specific stores. And I guess you're gonna need lots of different Teespring accounts. And finally, sending traffic to your store. Well. This is just going to be like any website really. You're not going to be getting traffic with Teespring or Spring, um, even though some people still seem to think that Spring are going to be marketing your products, they're not. Um, and there has been no indication anywhere that says they are still going to be marketing your products. So you're gonna to have to do it through social, maybe through advertising if you want to, but I, I don't really recommend that at the moment. But through socials like, t like Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok even, you know, and that's how you're gonna drive traffic to your store to actually get some sales. So that was a full tutorial on how to set up a spring store. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'm nearly at 50,000 subscribers. So please help me get there. And finally, thank you so much for watching.